your hands together.
Greetings, I'm Prophetess Charlene D. Holtz. And I'm Bishop Randall E. Holtz. And we want to welcome you to the New Hope MBC Ministries of Miami, where we believe in building strong families for the 21st century and beyond. We welcome you to our live broadcast as we prepare to hear the word of the Lord. We invite you to join us in the praise and worship experience. Please invite a friend or two to come along as well. Now, let's go right into the service. Greetings. Welcome to New Hope NBC Ministries of Miami, where we believe in strong families for the 21st century. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Sunday. How are you guys doing today? We are so excited that this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be in it. This is also the Love and Kindness Day. It is also our prophetess, Prophetess Charlene Holt's birthday. So we want to give a big birthday shout out to our prophetess. And we also want to give a big birthday shout out to Miss Clara Williams. Happy birthday, boo. I hope you enjoy your day. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day, God. Thank you for allowing us another day to just reverence in you, God. God, as we get ready to go about our day, we ask that you um, just build us with your grace and mercy. Fill us with your grace and mercy, Lord God. God, we ask that you pour into us so that we may pour out into others. And we ask that we may be the salt in this earth, God. God, we ask that your anointing fall on us and that your glory shines through us, God. And we want to give you all the praise, glory, and honor today. We pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Are y'all ready to praise God this morning? Are y'all ready to give God some praise this morning? I am excited. I'm ready to hear from our praise team. Amen. Come on, hallelujah. Let's give God praise, hallelujah. Come on, he's worthy to be praised. Come on, people of God, come on and worship him this morning. Come on and give God praise. Send up the praise right now, hallelujah. Come on, send up the praise right now. Come on, he's high and he's lifted up, hallelujah. Come on, he's high and he's lifted up, hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, send up the praise right now. Hallelujah. Send it up this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. God is worthy. Come on. God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the great Jehovah. Hallelujah. Come on. He's our great Jehovah. We praise you, God. We lift your name. Hallelujah. Yeah, come on. Come on, everybody say. High and lifted up are you. High and lifted up are you. High and lifted up are you. Great Jehovah. High and lifted up are you. High and lifted up are you. High and lifted up are you. Great Jehovah. Come on, everybody. High and lifted up are you. High and lifted up are you. Oh! 
Worship him. Come on and worship him. Come on and praise his name. Come on, let's just praise him. Let's just meditate on him right now. Let's just worship and thank God for being God. Bishop always say, can't nobody be God being God. Hallelujah. So we just worship him. Come on, we just give him praise. Come on, we just get in his presence. Let him know that we love him. Let him know that we appreciate all the things. Not some of the things, but all the things. The little bitty, like Bishop say, the tiny things. We just thank you, God, for the little things that we don't see, we don't even know about, we don't hear about, but God, you're working it out. You're working it out right now. God, things that we don't even know what's to come, but God, you're already working it out for us right now. Come on, so if you just lift your hands wherever you are and give God some praise, I dare you, he's going to work things out for you. Come on, don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. Come on, just lift your hands and just let it go right now. Let God flip. Let God do his thing. Come on. Let God do his work. Let God be God. Hallelujah. Let God be God this morning. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the glory. That's why we lift your name. Hallelujah. Sing along with us. I praise you. I praise you. Come on, lift your hands wherever you are. I praise you. I praise you. Come on, lift up your voice. 
Come on, praise him. Come on, whatever it is, praise him. Praise your way through it this morning. Come on, only God can do it. Come on, praise your way. 
Hallelujah. And I praise you. Yes, yes, Lord. And I praise you. We lift up our hands. We lift up our voice. And I praise. Come on and give him praise. Hallelujah. Come on and bless his name. Hallelujah. Come on. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we praise you. God, we praise you. We lift up our hands. We lift up our voice and we praise you. It's something about when you just give God a sincere praise, how he blesses you, how he just refreshes you. I dare you right now, wherever you are, if you're in your home or your job, wherever you are, just open your mouth. Lift up your voice. Throw your head back. Hold your hands up and just give God a praise. Tell him, Lord, I thank you this morning. I thank you this morning, God. I thank you for just being God in my life. I thank you for not leaving me or forsaking me, Lord. God, we praise you. Hallelujah. We praise you. We lift you up and we just thank you this day, God. God, we give you all glory, all honor because it's due unto you. Hallelujah. 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 Listen, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we are happy. We're going to be rejoicing, and we're going to be glad in it. It's filled with love today. We're going to be, we're going to love on our family members, love on our spouses, love on our kids. We're just going to show love all day long. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. I want to welcome you. Thank you for just worshiping with us virtually wherever you are, in state, out of state, at home, on your job, wherever you are. Thank you for taking the time to stop by New Hope this morning through virtual service. We're getting ready to hear from our pastor, our bishop, Bishop Randall E. Holtz. He's going to bring a word that's just going to help us get through another week of life. As we prepare to hear from him, our praise team is going to give us our song of preparation.
church said amen, amen. This is the day the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. What a wonderful privilege it is for us to be here on Valentine's Day as we come to celebrate our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And today, we come to give him praise. One more time, praise team. Let's go one more time. Thank you so much. What a joy and what a privilege it is for us to be in worship one more time. I want to thank our praise team for doing a phenomenal job. Our minister of music, Minister Sigmund McGee, Minister Jamal Bell, thank you so much for your continued support and your wonderful gifts to the kingdom. And to our fantastic media ministry, thank you so very much for your commitment to excellence and to make sure that the New Hope brand is given in excellence. We thank you so very much. To my daughter, Chantel, thank you for facilitating this service today. This is the day the Lord has made, and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. It is so good to be alive and so good to be a part of what God is doing in this season. Amen. I believe God is up to something marvelous and majestic, and our eyes shall see it together. We shall behold all of the goodness and the greatness of our God. Amen. As he release his power upon this earth and upon our planet. We know that we're dealing with still a a global pandemic, but as we always say, we're not going to panic. We're going to continue to give God a righteous praise. And we're not going to walk in fear, but we're going to continue to operate in faith because he has been giving us the spirit of fear, but power and a sound mind. And we are committed. We are committed to giving God our best praise. I always say, when we give God our best, 
He will always bless us with his better. And I believe better days are coming, not only for me, but for you and for your families and for your communities. I believe eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, all of the good things, the marvelous things that God has in store for them that love him and for those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. To me and for me, it's a double dipper because not only are we celebrating Valentine's Day, but we're also celebrating the prophetess birthday today, my life partner. So we want to say happy birthday to prophetess Charlene Holtz. Amen. God is doing something marvelous in her life, and we're going to be talking with her in just a moment. But we want to celebrate not only Valentine's Day, but uh, celebrate her birthday today as well. Well, let's get right to the word. The word today is coming from Psalms number 116, the 116th division of Psalms, Psalms 116. And our foundational text today shall be found in verse number 12. Psalms 116 and verse number 12. I'm going to give you a couple of translations today as the Lord will bless us and speak to our hearts. I believe there's a wonderful word that will comfort, a word that will motivate us, and a word that will encourage us to do even more for our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the New King James Version, David is the writer of this song. He, he, he offers this question. He says, what can I offer the Lord for all he has done for me? What can I offer the Lord for all he has done for me? In the... Um, New King James, that was the New Living. In the New King James, it reads like this. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits toward me? The New King James. What shall I render to the Lord for all, not some, but for all his benefits toward me? And the New Living Translation again reads, what can I offer? The Lord for all he has done, for all he has done for me, for all he has done for me. What a question and what a challenge David puts before us today. And we like David ought to be grateful and thankful for the manifold blessings that God has laid upon our lives. Amen. We serve a good God. And we serve a God who is rightly and justly to be praised. He is deserving of all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. And when we think about what he has done, when we think about what he has done already, you see, not what he's about to do, <laughs> but what he has already done. Every now and then, we ought to take a look back over our life and see just how far the Lord has brought us. And in the words of the old church, he has brought us from a mighty long ways. Amen. God has brought us from a mighty long ways over mountains and through the hills and the valleys, through our trials and tribulations and trouble, through our discomforts, through our pains, through our sorrows, through our ups and our downs, the Lord has brought us, because we couldn't bring ourselves, the Lord has brought us from a mighty long ways. Every now and then it's good to look back 
and take a retrospective look at where God has brought you from. Doesn't matter how old you may be or how young you be. Doesn't matter how much you may have or what you don't have. The question is, are you grateful and are you thankful for how God, for how good our God has been to you? Think about that for just a moment. God, I'm grateful. God, I'm thankful. I have an attitude of gratitude. Yes, sir. I have an attitude of gratitude. My attitude is, is, is on high today because I am grateful and I am thankful when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me. My soul cries out like yours, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Only a fool would forget how good God has been to him or her. Only a fool. Amen. For the fool have said in his or her heart that there is no God. Everyone can look around and know that there is a God. Amen. He sits high. He looks low. His eyes are on the sparrow. And we know that he is watching over every one of us. He is our provider. He is our keeper. Uh, he is our way maker. Everybody should know God for themselves. And if you don't know him, you better get to know him. When you look over our world today and all that we have been through, all that we are going through, all the stuff that we are dealing with, amen, we're trying to tunnel through, we're trying to get through, trying to make it safe to the other side. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, we would, have, we would have been suffocated, we would have been eliminated, we would have been destroyed, we would have died, we would have washed up and washed out along the way. But thanks be unto God, there it is again, thanks be unto God who giveth us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be unto God who giveth us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. What shall I render? What shall I do to express my gratitude and to let the Lord know I am thankful and I am grateful for all that he has done for me. What can I offer? What shall I render? What shall I give? How can I repay the Lord for all his acts of kindness to me? The NET says it like this. How can I repay the Lord for all his acts of kindness to me? If nobody else know, you ought to know. If nobody else is grateful, you ought to be grateful. So don't look at what nobody else is doing or what nobody else is not doing. This is a time to take a, a look on the inside, an inner look on the inside. Take self-examination. Have an inward look as to who you really are. And once you discover who you are, you ought to look up and say, God, thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for starting me on this new day. Thank you for giving me life, health, and strength. This morning when I got up, I was in my right mind. I had the use and the activity of my limbs, a whole lot of folk couldn't get up. A whole lot of folks didn't have the mind that we have. So we ought to be thankful. We ought to have an attitude of gratitude. Amen. Just to tell the Lord, thank you for all 
you have done for me. I love this in the, uh, in the New King James because it says for all his benefits toward me. You know, we're at the intersection of benefit and blessings. One of our spiritual daughters who pray regularly on our uh, early morning prayer, breakthrough prayer, she says, this season we have come to the intersection of benefits and blessings. Benefits and blessings. That's where we are. We are now standing in the intersection of benefits and blessings. That means God is blessing us when we go and when we come, when we stand, when we sit in the city, in the field, you know, in our storehouse, in our bodies, and everything we set our hands to do. Every turn we make, every place we go, God is right there to make a difference for you and for me. We are at the intersection of benefits and blessings. And we ought to have a heart of filled with grateful and thankful and a heart of attitude with gratitude. A mind ready to give God what is duly due him. Now when you read this song that David challenged us today, in verse 1 he says this way, he looked back over his life, but this is where he starts it out. He says, I love the Lord because he heard my voice and my supplication. David said, I love him because he heard me. He heard my voice. He heard my, my supplication. In the New Living Translation, it says, I love the Lord because he hears my voice. And my prayers for mercy. I love the Lord because he hears. He hears. Not just heard, but he hears. Every time I call upon him, he hears my concern. The NET says it like this. I love the Lord. That's why I love him. He says, because he heard my plea for mercy. When I couldn't see my way, when I didn't know how a way was going to be made, when I didn't know which way to turn or which way to go, he says, I called on the name of the Lord and he heard my plea for mercy and my supplication. Gets better. David said the reason I love him According to the Amplified, listen to this. He said, I love the Lord because he hears and continues to hear. My God. He don't just hear me or heard me, but he hear me and he continues to hear. That means God is interested in what I'm going through and what you're going through too. Don't ever think your God is, is so distant that he don't hear you. Don't ever think your God is so big that he can't come to your rescue. Don't ever think that God is so far away that he cannot come and stand right where you are. He is listening. And not just listening, but he is hearing what you have to say. He says in the Amplified, I love the Lord because he hears and continues to hear, continues to hear my voice and my supplication. Watch this. My pleas, my cries, my specific needs. Oh, my God. God is so interested in what we have to say until he has made a conscious decision to hear us. Not to look away from us, but to hear us. In verse 2 he says, he is so interested because 
He inclined his ear to me, and therefore I will call upon him as long as I live. So not only is God listening, but God is so interested in what I got to say. He inclines his ear. Can you imagine that? It's like God is saying, what's, what's up? God, God, God is saying, can you say that again? What God is saying is that, hey, you have my, you have my attention, and I'm listening to what you have to say. In the Amplified, it says, because he inclined his ear to me, therefore would I call on him as long as I need. He heard my voice, my supplication, my pleas, my cries, and my specific needs. New Testament says, make your request known unto the Lord. New Testament says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything. Make your request known to the Lord in prayers and supplications and songs. New Testament says in Hebrews 4 and 16, let us go boldly before the throne of grace that we may find help in the time of our need. And the message Bible says it like this, let us walk right up to him and get what he is so ready to give. And God is so ready to give because he wants to respond. To what we have to say. Watch this. He wants to, he's interested in my pleas for help. He's interested in what I am pleading on behalf of. He's interesting, he interested in my cries when I am hurting. And I don't know quite what to say or how to say it. I'm just crying out. God is listening. And ready to respond to what's bothering me. My pleas, my cries, and watch this, my specific needs. I love the Amplified. See, your need may not be my need. Our need may not be somebody else's need. But whatever the need is, whatever the need is, watch this, our God is able to supply not some of our needs but all of our needs according to his riches in glory. That's not just money but that's health and well-being. That's healing and deliverance. That's breakthrough. That's keeping us under the shadow of his wings. That's turning our midnight into day, our sorrows into joy. That's healing us from what's hurting us. That's delivering us from what's bothering us. So when we make our plea, our cry, or our specific needs, God is inclining his ear to hear. And continues to hear. He don't turn away. My God. My God. That's why David said I love him so much. And that's why we love him so much. That's why we love God so much. Because he never turns us away. He never. He never turns us away. He promised never to leave us. Nor forsake us. But to be with us always, even to the end of time. Even to the end of time. David says in verse number four, he said, I call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, Lord, I implore you, deliver my soul. He said, gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yes, our God is merciful. Do you know God is merciful? His mercy, God's mercy, God's mercy endureth forever. 
What is mercy? Mercy is the withholding of that which we rightfully deserve. And sometimes we don't deserve to be blessed, but God bless us anyway. We don't deserve uh, to be healed, but he heals us anyway. We don't deserve the things, the blessing that God is giving us, but he give it to us anyway. Thank God for his mercy. He gives me what I don't deserve. He makes right my wrongs. God make right my wrongs. Because when I make a mistake, and you too, when we drift away, and sometimes you do too, but when we repent... And when we tell God we are sorry, become godly sorry, he opens his arm and gladly receives us back in. That's why he says don't let trouble stop you. Don't let pain block you. Don't let difficulties stop you from approaching me. We can go boldly before the throne of grace and find help and assistance in the time of our need. And He will do it for us. And David said, I love him. I love him for that. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? Who wouldn't serve a God who fights my battle? Who wouldn't serve a God who prepares a table in the presence of my enemies? Who wouldn't serve a God who anoints my head till my cup run over? Who wouldn't serve a God that built a hedge of protection around me by day and by night? Who wouldn't serve a God who strengthens my heart, who gives me joy in the time of sorrow? God is merciful and David says I will call upon the name of the Lord oh Lord please save my life gracious is the Lord and consistently righteous yes our God our God is compassionate we serve a compassionate God who loves us in spite of he looks Beyond our faults. And he blessed us with what we need. David is a good example of one who experiences the mercies of God on a regular. D David was, was, was flesh. He was a man. Uh, D D D David was, was, was a man like, like us. He was human like us. He, he was not exempt from failure or faults. And we all have failures and we all have faults. Not one of us are so perfect that we can turn our nose up to anybody or anything. But for the grace of God, we would too be headed down a wrong road. But God had mercy. Amen. That's what David prayed in Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O Lord, according to to the multitudes of your tender mercies and your loving kindness. You got to know how to come back. You got to know how to get in and right relationship with God. And he is so interested uh, to hear us when we cry, when we make our plea, when we request for specific needs. He is willing and he is able to do what needs to be done. So David, he walks down the whole litany of what God has done for him. He says, you rescued me out of death. You snatched me out of the pit of hell. You took my feet out of the, out of the miry clay. You set me back on a solid rock. You fought my battles for me. You provided for me. I look back now that I'm mature. I, look, he says, he said, I, I, was, I, I was young and now I'm old, but I never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging for bread. We are not beggars. We have just been blessed by God. God did it and God continues to do it day by day by day. He sends fresh new mercies our way. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Who wouldn't serve a God like this? So David says to us, after looking back over the discourse of his life and seeing just how far 
God had brought him. And David asks a question. He says, what shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits toward me? See, one thing I know is God's been good to me. That, that's one thing I know. So some things you just got to know. Some things, there are some things you just got to know. Uh, I don't care who say, I don't care what they do. There are some things you've got to know for yourself without a doubt or reservation. And this is one thing I know. I know that God has been good to me. Amen. He's been good to you too. He's been good to you too. And you ought, you ought to tell him every now and then. Every now and then you ought to steal away. Every now and then you ought to steal away and just lift up your head and your hands and say, God, thank you for being good to little old me. I'm not deserving of it, but you're still good. I didn't deserve it, but you're still good. You still make a way for me. You still provide for me. You still keeps me in spite of me. Thank you. You ought, to have a, you ought to have an attitude of gratitude and be thankful for how good your God has been to you. David says, what shall I render? What can I offer? What can I repay? How can I repay the Lord for all his acts of kindness to me? What will I give to the Lord in return for all his benefits toward me? How can I repay him for his precious blessings? You ready for this? I'm up to close. You can't pay him money. Money can't. You can't. God don't need your money. All the silver and all the gold belongs to him. God is not hungry. All the cattle belongs to him. God, God, God don't need you to comfort him. He is our comforter. He's, he's Jehovah Jireh, our provider. He's Jehovah Shalom, our peace. He's Jehovah, Jehovah Rapha, our healer. And if he was hungry, he wouldn't ask us. So what, 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 what can we do? What, God, what can I do? What can I, how can I repay you for all the manifold blessings that you have bestowed upon us? Even in this pandemic, God, I can't thank you enough. Even this season that we're in, God, thank you for keeping us, keeping my family, keeping our church, keeping our community, keeping our minds. Oh, God, what can we do to repay you for all your precious blessing? Well, David says it this way. In verse 13, he says, I will take up the cup of salvation. That's what I will do. I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. That's the first thing I'm going to do. He says, he says, I will lift up the cup of salvation. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And I will call upon the name of the Lord. The first thing you can do is to be thankful for your deliverance and to give God praise and to give God glory. Every day you wake up, you ought to tell him thank you. God, thank you from delivering me from the death of sleep. Thank you, God, for delivering me from the hands of my enemy. Thank you, God, from delivering me from what the enemy has meant for evil, for turning around for my good. For as long as I live, he says, I'm going to call on the name of the Lord. He's, and that's a good name to call on, too. When you're in trouble, call on him. Call on his name. 
he got a name that's above every name. And, you know, he given him a name that's above every name. And at the sound of the name of Jesus, demons literally tremble. When our God walks in, the devil has to back up. When our God walks in, darkness has to flee. When our God walks in, the atmosphere changes. So if you need something to change in your life, call on the name of the Lord. He is strong. He is mighty. The Lord is strong. He's mighty. Mighty in battle. He's, he's a strong tower. He's a way maker. He's a heart fixer. He's a mind regulator. He's everything you need him to be. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to call upon the Lord. I'm going to be thankful for the salvation that he has given me. I will take up the cup of salvation. I will lift it high and I will praise the Lord's name for number one, for saving me. That's what David says I'm going to do. I'm going to do. Number two, David says, he says, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pay my vows to the Lord. Yeah, that's verse 14. He says, I'm, I'm going to pay my vows to the Lord in, in the new living. He says, I will keep my promises to the Lord in the presence of all his people. I will, I will keep my promises. I will keep my vows. I will not walk away from God, but I will stand on his word. I will remember how good God has been to me and what he has done for me. And I will stand in the congregation of people and say, I had nothing to do with it. God did it. And God continues to do it for me, for my family. For my church, for my community, for my nation. In spite of all the hell we've gone through, all the hell we're dealing with, I'm going to stand flat-footed and say, my God is able to do anything but fail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 14. Yeah, I will pay my vows to the Lord. Yes, in the presence of all his people. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let the Lord know how grateful I am. And how thankful I am. Amen. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord. I won't become absent-minded. I won't get spiritual amnesia. But I will fulfill my vows. God, how many times have we prayed? God, if you deliver me out of this, I promise you. How many times you prayed that prayer? God, if you get me out of this, I promise you. How many times have you prayed that prayer? God, if you turn it around this time, I promise you. Well, it's time now to fulfill your promise. Don't look for no excuse as to why you can't do it. Look for a reason and for a way you can. God, I'm going to still be faithful. I'm going to still give you glory. I'm going to still give you worship. Even if we can't come to this building, God, I'm going to praise you right here in my living room. Even if I can't get to church to sow my tithes or to give my offering, I'm going to find a way to plant my seed. I'm not going to look for an opportunity as to why I cannot do what I promise you, I would do. No, you've been too good to me. Think about it now. No, no. He didn't have to heal you from what you was dealing with. He didn't have to deliver you from what you was bound by. He didn't have to make a way for you, but he did. And since God have done all of that for you, the least we can do is to be faithful to him. It's the least we can do. David says in verse 14, I will pay my vows. I will pay my vows. I will pay my vows before all the people. That's what I'm going to do, Lord. And then he says this in verse 17. He says, I will offer to you the sacrifice 
of thanksgiving. There you go. This is what we can do. This is what we, he don't ask for much. He say, he say David says in, in verse number 17, he says, I will offer to you, God, the sacrifice of thanksgiving. I will offer you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on your name, on the name of the Lord. I will offer you sacrifices of thanksgiving and will call on your name. I will call on the name. Every time I lift my hands, you know, it doesn't matter to be in the sanctuary. Every time I lift my hands on the walk path, every time I lift my hands out in the, in, in the, in the, in the marketplace, every time I lift my hands in my home, every time I lift my hands riding in my car, God, I lift my hands to give you thanks because I recognize and realize that you have been so good to me. And every now and then, saints, you ought to just lift up your hands and give him thanks. Be thankful unto him, for the Lord is good, and his mercy endureth forever. My God. Verse 18 again, David says this. And when you start repeating himself, he's serious. He says in verse number 18, he says, I will fulfill my vows to the Lord. Yes. In the presence of all his people. This is the second time he said that. Verse 14 says that I will keep my promises to the Lord according to the NLT. And in verse number 18 he says I will fulfill. I will keep and I will fulfill my vows, my promises that I've made unto the Lord. In the presence of all his people. What shall I render Unto the Lord for all of his benefits, his precious blessings that he have given to me. When I think about the goodness of the Lord and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. God's grace and God's mercy is, a, is amazing. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Through many dangers, tolls, and snares. I've already come. It was grace that brought me safe thus far. And grace and mercy will lead me on. He leads me. He guides me. He revives me. He restored me. He feeds me in the presence of my enemies. He anointeth my head till my cup run over. He just don't make me feel good, but he makes sure my way stays good. Goodness and mercy follows me. All the days, not some days, but all the days of my life. And every time I call upon his name, every time I go to him in prayer, every time we seek his face, he listens, he hears, and the Amplified say he continues to hear my cry. My plea and my request of my specific needs. That's why David says, I love him. Don't you love him today? 
Well, let's give him praise. And let's give him glory. Let's give him praise. Amen. And let's give him glory. Yes, God. Let's give him praise. Hallelujah. And let's give him glory. Yes, right there in your living room, lift up your hands, O oh, ye people, and shout out to God with the voice Hallelujah. of triumph. For he is good. Yes, he is. And his mercy endureth forever. The doors of the church are open. Maybe somebody right now wants to give God what's rightfully his. A right now praise. And if you're willing to do that, to repent and to confess at your mouth the Lord Jesus. And believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You can be saved right now. And come home. We offer Christ to you. Oh my brother. Oh my sister. We offer Christ to you. more time. done as the Lord required, yet there's room. If Israel be lost, Jacob shall not lose his reward. Every now and then it's good to look back. Take a retrospect look over your life and see where God has brought you from. Through many dangers, tolls and snares, over high mountains and deep valleys, through trouble, trials, and tribulations, pain, problems, and pressures, difficulties, rejection, dejection, depression, oppression. He brought us out and still taking us through. So we thank God for what he has done and for what he is still doing. And the least we can do is to be faithful. And to give him praise and to give him glory. Come on, prophetess. The birthday girl. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Birthday, huh? Yep, it's my birthday. Put on your red dress, baby. Because <laughs> we're going out tonight. <laughs> All right, your birthday, your birthday. Talk about your birthday here. I just want to thank God. Oh my God, I am so happy today. God, to see another birthday. Today I am celebrating 66, six and six. How and you, six, 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 six. I'm saying, say it loud. You know, in the old days, we would play that number. <laughs> but we saved now. Y'all don't do that. We saved. We saved now. But she's 66 years young. Here you go, Mara. Amen. Yes. I'm celebrating 66 today, y'all. I feel fat. Where are my balloons and stuff? Ooh, let me bring them close to me. Put them behind me. I want to see them. I want to see them. Let me hold them. No, I, I just need that little moment because everything now, y'all know, is... um. In the pandemic, so I just want to, I got to celebrate here.
Just let me fill my balloons, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, thank y'all. Now, I just want to say I am so grateful to God yes. for another year. Amen. My God, I am so thankful to God. It is amazing. I feel amazing. I feel so good. I'm still here, still praising God. And, and I thank Bishop for that great word today. What will I give to the Lord for all of his benefit? I give him my life, my whole life, my being obedient, being faithful, being loyal, being thankful, um, a sacrifice of, of, of just giving, 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 because he so loved, he gave. And I just thank him. He gave me another year, another year, and that's something to be thankful for. 66, and I feel amazing when I tell you I take no medication, no high blood pressure, no nothing, nothing but my turmeric, my ginger, my sea moss, and drinking a lot of water. I'm able to bend, I'm able to run, I'm able to jump. I have no aches in my body, and I give God all the praise, and I want to use this body for the glory of him, the, 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 just to lift up his name and praise his name. So I, I'm just so happy today, because I got my health and strength, able to feed myself, clothe myself. I still got my husband, my children, and my grandkids, and that's just a blessing. So I just thank God for another year. And I love you all, New Hope. I love you all. We miss you so much. And I just thank God for another year. What a blessing it is. Happy birthday to me, from me. I love you, Charlene. I love me some Charlene, too. All right. Happy birthday, prophetess. Yes. It has been an amazing journey. And the uh, story is not ended yet. We just continued. No, no. What's the rest of the story? I can't tell it on TV. You know, but just, you know the other day, let me just say this. Bishop don't like this. Um, uh, but he, I came home. I was sitting. You know, I just want to read and do this. He put the music on. And he just was just jamming. And boy, he put it on. And baby, I came. You know, I can do. I can still. I got some steps in these legs. And I just started stepping. And we just danced. We have a party at home in the midst of the pandemic. It was a good party, too. Good we had a pandemic party. <laughs> this girl is something else. She is, uh, she is so funny and uh, so grateful. But on a serious note, uh, we are honored to have um, our prophetess uh, set a, a great example for our church and for the moms, the ladies of our church. Yes. And uh, she's such a talented, gifted, anointed uh, young lady, and we thank God for you. We pray that God will keep you healthy, yes. amen, keep you strong, and continue to do what he has called you to do, amen. amen. I wrote in the Facebook, I put something on Facebook, I said, your smile is radiant, and your charm is everlasting, and every time I think about you, it brings about certain reactions, now don't do that, now don't do that, don't, don't, LMA. Well, well, I, I, I. Don't, don't do that right now. Okay, I. Don't eat that cake now. I, I won't eat the cake, I. All right, all right. I love you, I. Have a good, yeah, we have a good time. Don't beat me, I. I ain't never going to beat you. I'm okay. A, <laughs> cut that out, cut that, cut that one out. That's, that, I know she's talking about that. No, you, that's the movie now, that's the movie. Yeah, but they don't think it's the movie. Oh, well, it's real. <laughs> it ain't real. The movie was real. The movie, but we ain't not well, like we that. Know that. They know that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Speaking tongues. All this him birthday up here now. They, they, we know that. They you got to be able to um, be able to discern and know speaking right tongues, from wrong. Tongues. What a wonderful day. We're gonna Thank have a great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen on the Facebook. Uh, I mean, on the tube right now is a way to honor Prophetess. Um, if you want to be a part of her celebration, there's a way that you can be a blessing. Uh, to her by seeding into her cash app. I believe it's Denise Pray 55. Five. So if you want to just send a donation or make, you know, a uh, deposit, uh, you can do that. And we thank you in advance for all that you do. Now it's time to give in the New Hope Church. Amen. We like to have fun. Little levity is good for the soul. Laughter is good for the soul. It's like medicine. And we want to be transparent. Amen. But you can participate now in the plan process promulgated by God. If you want to give this morning of your tithes and your offerings, you can give by Cash App. NHMBC 1881. Amen. It's our Cash App. And you can give online. Amen. Through Tithely. Or you can give by text giving 
All the information is right there for you. And if you want to go to our website, newhopembc.com, and press the give or the donate button, your seed will arrive at the proper place. Please continue to support our church and our ministry as we move forward even in this pandemic. You can write the check, put it in the mail, or drop it off by the church. We'll make sure we'll be here to service you every day, Monday through Friday, from 9 until 5. We're here for you. God bless you, and God keep you is our prayer. A few announcements. We want to continue to pray for um, our valiant member, Clara Temple, Clara Williams Edgecombe. On yesterday, she laid to rest her daughter, Marjorie Brooks. And uh, we know that this has been a tough <clears throat> few weeks for Clara and the Temple and the Williams family. Yeah. We're going to pray much for her, that God will continue to lift her and, and keep her as she come back from this valley experience. Amen. And we also want to continue to pray for my good friend, Elder Kenneth Duke, and the New Jerusalem family, and the loss of his lovely wife, Julia, and to my good friend, uh, Bishop Victor Curry, and the new birth family, and the loss of his sister, Julie. Let's continue to lift them all in our prayers. All right, listen, uh, New Hope, we do have 25 more slots for the COVID-19 vaccine for this coming Thursday. We have 25 slots available, appointments, amen. You will receive your vaccination. Give us a call. Give me a text. If you are interested, I got to have the information in by tomorrow by 12. You can contact our valued member, Ann Crawford, Elder Ann Crawford, or you can contact our valued member, a Ralph Person, or you can text me directly at 305-218-4235. That's 305-218-4235. And Elder Crawford, your number is 305-632-5444. Six nine six six. It's important you, you know, you move real quickly now. These slots are filling up, but if you have your vaccination already, but you have family members who are sixty five years or older, you know, and have not yet received their vaccinations, uh, we do have appointment. These are firm appointments this coming Thursday. Get in contact with us, and we can get you on the list. Also, our church, the New Hope Church. It's going to be a site for the free COVID-19 testing. There's going to be a mobile testing here in the parking lot on Monday, February 22nd, 2021. Between the, the time is 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. right here at the New Hope Church, 1881 Northwest 103rd Street. It don't cost you a thing, but it's, they will be here to give the COVID-19 testing. It is free. It's for kids? All right. It's for kids. All right. All right. I didn't see that here, but okay. All right. And if you're a kid between the age of 5 and 80, come on by. Amen. Between the ages of 5 and 80, come on by. We'll get you tested. But uh, walk-ins are permitted. You don't need to pre-register. You can come right up and get tested. So please come by and support. All right. I think we have covered everything thus far that we need to cover. Anything else? All right. Again, happy birthday to Prophetess. And thank you so much for being faithful and being with us today. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. That's a big car. All right.
what his word say. To what his will is. God has spoken. God has spoken. Let the church. Let the church say. your response Amen Whatever he says Amen From the healing of your body Amen To the raising of the dead Amen No matter how you feel Amen How your world is real Amen Battle on through the night Amen Cause you're going to fight Amen Because your help is on the way. Amen. Why? God has spoken. Well, well, well. Let the church. Let the whole church. Amen. Father, we thank you for what our eyes have seen, our ears have heard, our hearts have felt. We thank you most of all for your power and your presence in this place. Go with us now as we leave this place, but never your presence. This we ask. In Jesus' name. God has spoken. Well, well, well. Let the church say. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Prophetess. Here we go. God bless you. Thank you so much. Love y'all. See you next week. Happy birthday.